one time I talked about NPCs. I think I titled the uh, video NPC Rant. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I was talking to my mom about this phenomenon when we were in a Costco because uh, naturally a lot of the NPCs reside in Costco's and other department stores and they like push shopping carts in your way and stuff. Um, more on that in other videos. I'm sure I've ranted about it. Um, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Anyway, so I was talking to my mom about this NBC stuff and she was like, Sarah, oh my god, you think that people have no souls? That's so mean. That is such a rude thing for you to say. And I was like, no mom, it's true. It's like a fact when you observe the world to the degree that I do, you can see it happening and you can do it too if you just observed instead of, you know, not observing. She's not very observant. <clears throat> So, I just wanted to clarify about this NPC rant thing. I was thinking about it. It's not that I think that they have no souls, per se. I think that maybe their souls are, like, dormant. Like, we're in the, uh, uh Matrix, or, like, simulation, or whatever you want to call it. And some people are just aware and awake and, like... <laughs> see how I use the word awake and not woke? Um, yes. So some people are awake, and some people are dormant. Like, their souls and their whole beings are, like, dormant. That's what I think NPCs are, just like dormant individuals, where you really don't have any individuality and you just conform and you are in people's way and you really have no purpose in this world, really. Oh, I just drove by like thousands of tent trailers and like movie trailers, so obviously a movie thing's going on at Heritage Park in Calgary today. It's August 17th, I think. I'm on my way to a brunch with a bunch of girls. That's really exciting. Can't wait to do that. Then later I'm gonna sell some clothing and stuff like that and then I'm gonna come home and I might edit some videos I'm not sure I already have like this week's videos like taken care of so I feel pretty good I might make like one or two for Saturday and Sunday and I've already filmed stuff that I'm preparing to film so usually I'm like I used to be like a couple days out if not like a day out from like filming and then uploading um, at the very beginning though it was like a whole giant batch of content from like long ago, like December even I started filming I think. Just like filming my thoughts and stuff. This turned into a weird video, eh? But like, yeah, so at the beginning it was just like a pile of videos from a long period of time. And then I, I caught up and then I started like uh, making videos and like editing them pretty close together. And then for the house building trip I got ahead of the game and was editing like far in advance. So I had like a large stockpile sort of thing of videos that I uh, made that are still like, well, no longer coming out, but just like came out recently. Um, I'm saying this now on the 17th, so now you're probably gonna watch this on like September 1st, maybe. I don't know, who knows? So, see you in the future, see you in the past, I don't know, but uh, yeah, have an amazing day. I like the ending where I say like spreads positivity, <laughs> it's like meta when I say that as I'm saying like spreads positivity at the end of my video, but. I think that's a, that's a good message. It's kind of like Ellen, though, and Ellen turned out to be, like, the devil herself. So, <laughs> I actually mean it when I say spread positivity, not like Ellen when she says be kind. As we all know, Ellen is a not good folk. Oh my god, this lane is so slow. Alright, as I was saying, I'm gonna go to this brunch and have a splendid afternoon. As should you. Enjoy the summer while it lasts, everyone and spread positivity everywhere you can go. Bye. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Later.